All right, good afternoon, everyone. Um, I thought I would kind of throw together another update here on um, Sunday's potential winter weather, especially with this briefing package, since there has been some slight changes to um, the kind of outlook. So in general, the forecast has trended both a little colder and wetter in general. Wetter does not necessarily equivalent to more snow, but just there has been a trend to see more um, precip out of the system as a whole. And so there has been a slight change to some of the snow expectations. And so that's why we are monitoring the potential issuance of a winter weather advisory um, that, that will be looked at this evening and then again tonight. So the rain snow mix remains possible Sunday morning. And there's been there's a slight change in the chance that it could transition to all snow in some areas, but confidence in that is low. Um, despite this change, probabilities for significant snow amounts, anything an inch or greater, still remain low. And then the threat as the system departs will be cold temperatures into the 20s that then can refreeze and bring some black ice conditions on roads. So kind of as I was just talking about, there has been a general trend toward a wetter solution. So even if an area doesn't see any snow, we're looking at a pretty widespread half inch or so of rain, but there has been maybe even a further trend upwards closer to a quarter, I mean, three quarters of an inch to an inch. So that's one thing to kind of keep an eye on. But um, like I said at the start, this does not directly correlate to higher snow accumulations. So looking at our percent chance of accumulating snow, the rain snow mix is continues to be expected to start sometime Sunday morning. There is a little bit of uncertainty of exactly when this mix could start. As of now, there hasn't been a main, a big change to that, but with the new model guidance trending a little bit cooler is possible the transition could occur a little bit earlier and so because of this probabilities of measurable snow um, are the highest across the csra but with marginal surface temperatures in in place it'll be hard to accumulate much of the snow unless we can get one of the moderate bands that we've been talking about which is kind of what we're talking about here a reasonable worst case scenario is there continues to be a signal that a moderate band of precip could form into like central Georgia, especially, but it could push into parts of the CSRA and even the southern Midlands. And if that were to cool enough and transition to all snow, we could see some of those higher end amounts toward half an inch and possibly even toward an inch. But confidence in those amounts are very low at this time, as um, guidance is still kind of all over the place in terms of what the um, seeing those types of amounts. And so for now, because of that, we've held off on a, issuing a winter weather advisory, hoping that the afternoon round of models will help give some more certainty into what we're expecting in terms of the potential high end snow if this moderate band of um, snow were to move into the CSRA especially. So it's kind of looking at the timing. Again, it's still that morning to possibly early afternoon time frame still looking at some combination of a rain snow mix times of all rain times of possibly all snow as you can see in the augusta graphic especially before precip completely tapers off into the afternoon so here's a look at a couple other locations across the forecast area you can see that again toward the csra in waynesboro and even up towards edgefield the chance of a time where it could transition to all snow and because of that, the potential impacts have increased um, a little bit closer to 23% in the CSRA. But this is, again, driven by the possibility of those higher end snow amounts if they were to be realized. But even then, most of that accumulation would be on grassy elevated surfaces with lower confidence that there would be much in terms of accumulation on roadways. And lastly, is again, freezing temperatures that drop quickly into the 20s overnight and into Monday morning could allow any wet surfaces to refreeze. And could create um, some patchy black ice on roads that could be that will remain until temperatures rise above freezing later Monday morning.